Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another challenge. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be challenging myself to if I could only keep 10 makeup products. I don't know why I do this to myself, truly. Anyways, I'm also going to show you the look that I created using only those 10 products. So if you would like to see that, then just keep watching. <laughs> Ah. Hey guys, so yeah, as you can see today's video, we're gonna be trying all the items on together as we go. But first, of course, today's video is in a collaboration with my friend Bella. You guys are probably very familiar with her already. If you aren't, her name is Isabella Goria here on YouTube. Her and I have been friends for what feels like years now at this point for YouTube. We have collaborated several times, so definitely if you've been on my channel for a while. You are familiar with her. I love her. She's super sweet, super bubbly. She has crazy good style and she's just so fun and sweet. I cannot recommend her channel enough. She's been starting to post more makeup videos as well, but she also actually does a lot of fun lifestyle videos as well. Fashion, all of that good stuff. She has a very different makeup style than I do. Typically, her looks are about natural, dewy, tinted, everyday kind of makeup because she's so naturally pretty. Definitely a style of makeup that's important as well. So make sure you guys check out her channel if you haven't already. Give her a subscribe. Tell her that I sent to you and I mean at this point there will be future collaborations with Bella anyways so uh, go subscribe to her and make sure you <laughs> check out her video to see what 10 products she chose that she can't live without. But we did both want to pick one item that was the same that we both agree is like so important. So keep in mind these aren't necessarily my favorite top 10 products ever. Some are my favorites because I feel like I can't live without them, but these products are about versatility and making sure that the products work in any type of condition, any time of year. So most of these are my actual favorites and I feel like I can't live without them, but there were some products that I did have to put away and pick up just because I was missing something in my collection of 10 products. It was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. You guys know how I get very easily stressed out. I wasn't too stressed for this one, but the item that we picked out, sorry, I keep getting off track. We chose the Benefit Cheek Stars palette. We chose the newest one because this is the one that you guys can get your hands on. But I freaking love these cheek palettes, you guys know, as does Bella as well. This one is the perfect one though because you have Hoola Bronzer, a selection of blushes and cookies, which is the best highlighter ever. Is this kind of cheating because it's three different types of products in one? Probably, but I really, no. Palettes, man. Palettes are the way to go if you're limiting me. This is just the best. Like, Hoola's so solid. These blushes are pretty and natural and are gonna go with every look, and Cookie is just one of the best anyways. So truly, the, if I'm limited in makeup, I want to have this in my collection because it has everything that I need. Let's transform myself using just 10 products. I woke up this morning with this. You guys, if you watched my video yesterday, I'm gonna blame it on that Farsali beauty oil because it smelled like pizza and no beauty oil should smell like pizza. So I think that's why I have this on my face. This headband kind of squeezes my head and makes my face hurt. So I skipped primers altogether because I figured I'm only limited to makeup. I can still have moisturizer, right? So moisturizer will work just fine as a primer for me. So let's get straight into foundation. And I did choose my number one all-time favorite foundation but for many reasons, and that is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. I haven't used this in a while, so I am so excited. And this is in the shade, in case you were wondering, 300. I chose this foundation because it is so lightweight on the skin, but you can also build it up. It's just so comfortable. It looks so good for special occasions. It lasts on the skin. Everything about this foundation is perfect. You can build up the coverage, but really this is such a versatile foundation and it's so so good. I love my skin every time I wear this foundation. So it's like, if I could only keep one foundation, I'm picking this foundation. It's so pricey and you run out of product so quickly. It is so worth every penny, you guys. I will always have this foundation in my collection. The finish is just so natural. Your skin looks so perfected. I cannot speak enough good things about this foundation. I'm gonna keep my application kind of light today. So we're gonna leave it to that. I do want to get into an eyebrow product next because eyebrows very very important. I chose to go with a 
brow pencil because I wanted it to do powder, but I feel like brow pencils are more versatile because you can get a light and a dark application with them. Even though I love my brow powders, I felt in this scenario for a lifelong commitment, I'd want a pencil. So I chose the Isom Defining Brow Pencil. This is just one of my favorite brow pencils and I have mine in the shade Brunette. We're gonna fast forward through this brow portion here. I miss my brow lady so much, you guys. All right, so the next item that I need to have is concealer. For concealer, I chose the Pat McGrath concealer because on lighter, quick makeup days, I really like this all over my skin as well, just a couple swipes. So this not only is great for coverage underneath the eyes, but it's great all over the face too if you just wanna spread out a little bit. Such a nice, versatile concealer. You guys know this is one of my current favorites. So I'm gonna put this on. My my under eyes today because I feel like I have enough coverage on my face from the foundation but I do think that this concealer is very versatile and you know if I was only left with one concealer this one would do a good job. Now there's a few different concealers that I was kind of toggling between because I feel like there's a lot of concealers that could get the job done like the Too Faced Born this way. The Armani Power Fabric Concealer is really good and then also the new Dior Concealer would fit the bill pretty well but Pat McGrath is really really good. I'm gonna put a little bit in certain areas for a little bit of extra coverage now. For setting powder, I picked out my all-time favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have mine in the shade Fair Light. This is the most smoothing powder. I absolutely love it for setting my under eyes, my makeup. Everything about this powder is amazing. Such a good quality powder. You won't believe it's from the drugstore. I mean, this is an older product, so you guys are probably already hip to this product, but it's just so good and if I could only have one powder it would have to be this for sure. So I really only set the center of the face. I am ready to do some shaping and sculpting to the face. So of course we are going to use Hoola as my bronzer today and I'm just going to put just a little bit on the outsides of my face. This is such a cult classic for a reason. It's just a good universal color. It just works. You will always feel comfortable grabbing for this color. But a little bit on my nose just for balance. For blush today, I'm gonna keep it really light and natural. We're gonna go for Georgia. Georgia isn't my favorite blush in the world, but it does add a very nice natural sheen to the cheek and it just kind of goes with every makeup look. It's one of those really versatile colors. Mm, this palette just smells so good too. And then for highlight, of course, we're reaching into Cookie, which is one of the best highlighters of all time. All right, so now it's time to move into eyeshadow palettes. And for eyeshadows, I knew I needed to pick up a Pat McGrath. Those are my all-time favorite. They are the prettiest eyeshadow palettes. They make me the happiest. So, of course, if I'm gonna keep one, it has to be from Pat McGrath. Now, I almost picked my favorite bronze seduction, but honestly, that one wasn't the most versatile. So I did end up picking Mothership to Sublime. Now, these are severely expensive, but they are just so nice, so luxe, everything I love in an eyeshadow palette, and you have beautiful glitter shades. But I specifically chose this palette because you have wearable tones in the colors that I like. You have pinky tones, gold tones, bronze tones, and most importantly, black. I wanted a black because I had my MAC Black Track Fluid line in this lineup, but then I couldn't have an eyeshadow palette, so I picked an eyeshadow palette with a black so I could use the black as eyeliner. That's very important to me. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyelid, just a little bit more as an eyeshadow primer. I was not going to waste one of my spots on an eyeshadow primer. Are you kidding me? Concealer is going to do just fine for that job. Because we're going with a lighter, more natural look on the skin today, we'll carry that through to the eyes. What I am going to do is we're going to start off with the dark brown right here. Take just a little bit. You don't want to go overboard with this color because it's very pigmented and we are going for a natural makeup look today. And also what's really great about the Benefit palette is you can also use those shades for eyeshadow as well. That's why I almost didn't have an eyeshadow palette because I was like, well, I can use the Benefit as eyeshadow. But honestly, I need a little bit of glitter and glimmer and shine in my collection. So had to pick 
a pat palette. I am actually going to go into Hoola the bronzer really quick so that I can go a little bit heavier handed in my crease. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of that brown, run it along my lower lash line, and then along the top of my lash line for a little bit of smudginess. So this is going to add some definition to our eyes. I know I went really light on top, but I like this look of dark on the bottom. You'll see we'll tie it together with some black eyeliner on top. And then all over my lid, I'm going to use, do I want to go rosy today? No, let's go copper. So I'm going to go with this color right here. I'm going to to use the same blending brush I just used to really apply soft glow all over the lid with that penny kind of color. We're doing a natural look today with Pat McGrath. Can you believe that? But of course, you know, on days that I'm feeling like I need a little extra pizzazz, I would go in with those four crazy glitter colors. I'm applying cookie highlighter. It's my inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to take a rougher number three brush and I'm going to use this black shadow to line my upper lash line. Today's eyeliner look was a bit more smudgy. If I do want a more precise, crisp black line, I could use an angled brush and wet it, and that's how you're going to get that actual defined eyeliner look. But I've been loving the natural smudgy kind of liner lately. I, of course, need mascara. So I chose my Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is my fave. I know some people don't really like it, but for some reason, my eyelashes really agree with this mascara. The next item I had to bring out was eyelashes. I'm currently working on gluing them but these are the style Misha from Coco and oh my goodness. I definitely took out an item on my original list of 10 to add falsies because you know what? False lashes are not part of my everyday essential makeup routine. I don't need them. However, I need them in my collection at all times. I need to have that option because falsies are just perfect for when you want to have a natural day but you want to feel extra pretty. Throw on some lashes. If you have a glam day, you need to have some lashes to balance it out and I love Misha because they are my favorite everyday lashes but they still also look good with more glam makeup. They're not super dramatic but I needed a lash that wasn't super dramatic so that I could wear it for every day for days that I want to have more than the little stubs that I naturally have. So I'm gonna finish applying these but as you can see they're just Beautiful, great for every day, but dramatic enough to be worn with glam makeup as well. See? False lashes, they just notch everything up instantly. I feel so much more glam and put together and it wasn't that much work. So let's move on to lips. I chose two products for lips. These are 9 and 10. So I had to have a lip liner and I chose a creamy formula in particular because that can replace a lipstick. So that takes away from the lipstick, but you need a lip liner to shape your lips. So I chose the Isam Dual Lip Pencil in Plus. Um, I love this. First of all, you get two colors. You get a dark color and a light color. And I love the lighter color for every day. It's such a creamy formula. So I'm just going to put this all over my lips. So this is just a really pretty everyday kind of rosy color. You can also use your finger, kind of wipe it in to make it more of a natural color. You can use it lighter, more sparingly. But since I did forego a lipstick formula, I did have to have a gloss because that's just a finish you can't really replicate. So I chose the Fenty Beauty Fussy Gloss Balm. My big one is somewhere. I don't know where it is. But anyways, this is just a really universal color and it goes perfectly with this lip liner or whatever lip liner you have underneath. All right, and I mean, boom, this is like my full face of makeup using the 10 products that I personally feel I could not live without. If I could only have 10 makeup products, these are the ones that I would choose. And I just feel like I chose the products because they were versatile. I can do many different types of looks with these items. Today I went for a naturally glam kind of look. I really like it. I haven't done natural makeup quite like this in a while. Make sure you head over to Bella's channel to see what 10 makeup products she would pick and yeah this challenge as always was really fun I have a couple other if I could only keep 10 challenges I did eyeshadow palettes and brushes and now I mean this one really stepped it up if I could only keep 10 makeup items in general anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I sure hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one